I've waited for more than 30 years to have my own space. That, in fact, that affected the sizes uh, I used to produce. Uh, I would uh, only paint smaller uh, pieces or work on uh, smaller uh, artworks so that I can have them at home or I can store them. Uh, and only in 2020, I had the chance to have this space. Uh, since then, I started um, making bigger pieces and uh, that's how uh, my, my work became, uh, you know, more uh, diverse, uh, not only in terms of sizes, but also in terms of materials. My family members, when they walk in uh, to the studio and would see these uh, paintings, they would start comparing them and finding the similarities between the paintings and people they know. Uh, my daughter, on the other hand, uh, she finds them quite intimidating, uh, quite haunting. I don't know how the people will react to these uh, paintings or to these faces now. Uh, I hope that they will have their unique experience uh, whenever they uh, visit the gallery space. Whether the faces or individual people, I think they are uh, in the center of uh, all of my artworks, including films, including poetry, including uh, uh, art films or even visual art. Uh, I am fascinated uh, by people, stories, uh, by people, prisons, um, their emotions, uh, their feelings. Uh, everything related to people leaves its touch uh, deep into my heart and deep into my consciousness. And I feel it is uh, too easy to relate to people through their emotions and through, through their expressions. And that's what I am after, whether uh, to capture that uh, visually or uh, you know, through films. I wanted to animate these uh, faces to make a project that is uh, relevant to our age, our time and uh, about people who are fascinated by social media and all uh, this um, attachment and taking selfies uh, and you know uh, changing their characteristic through the apps they, they, they find online. So uh, I started making the paintings and adding some characters by using these uh, uh, apps that all the people use. And uh, the result was uh, quite uh, interesting. And uh, uh, I, I wish that I could uh, show all these faces the way I uh, filmed them, and the way I animated them, and the way the, uh, the voices were added to them. I decided that uh, I want to go uh, halfway through uh, the, the firing process of the uh, clay and then uh, to use uh, the, the fluorescent uh, colors because I wanted to give this uh, a theatrical presence of these faces in dark places. So uh, that's how I, it was just a test at the very beginning. And of course, uh, my aunt Najat, uh, because she has a huge experience with the fluorescent uh, colors. Uh, so I reached out to her. I told her, can I use your studio? Because she has all the tools and all the materials uh, to, to produce uh, uh, such, uh, um, such artwork. So I've started, uh, you know, just using her space and uh, at the same time uh, making more faces and uh, uh, using also, uh, and, you know, going from the flat uh, materials, the flat uh, uh, clay to sculpting uh, the, the clay. And uh, I hope that the result is going to be just the way I imagined it.